All right, what's up guys? So as you can see, still in my dirty, sweaty gym clothes because I just had this idea uh, when doing cardio today uh, for document the journey. I'm gonna do, I think I'm actually gonna do these a little bit more often. These kind of like from the heart uh, webcam episodes. Uh, just to give you a really like in-depth idea into how I think or what's going on and things of that nature. So some things, um, and real quick, this this might be more valuable than the episodes where it's like a day in the life type thing. And the reason is because this just shows the difference between me and other people, right or wrong, is the fact that I just do. Um, and sometimes it's gotten me in trouble. I don't think, so to speak. I just want to have an idea. I just go and do. Uh, like, a, I, like a bull, I just go. Just go. And it's good and bad. Uh, it's good because things get done. It's bad because, uh, for example, I struggle to fall asleep at night. Uh, recently, I've really started to use melatonin as a crutch. Um, and working with some doctors, I guess, and, and other ways to fall asleep at night. And it's also cost me money, uh, as I've elaborated on in an Instagram post this past week. So, just things that have been going on. Uh, one, the fitness brand's kind of falling apart. Uh, so, so it's things that happen with Structural MD. Basically, long story short is, you know, pitch this app. Um, I've pitched it many times to many people. Uh, I've been told no a lot, and I always thought it was a good idea. And they'd always come back with some rhetorical reason as to why it's not going to work. And I'd eventually, and eventually, it wasn't right that second, I'd eventually figure out a solution to their rebuttal. So, I pitched that successfully, and now a company's really interested, and they want a beta product by the end of summer. So, I have about two, three months, so pretty hot to trot on that. I've been trying to build out a team of people to help me build it, because I don't know how, and, and I can't, I'm not going to learn how uh, in the meantime. Uh, working through a major, major client project, uh, hundreds of drawings. So that's been learning how to delegate and how to hand off that task. And then the other stuff is just really trying to pick up new skills. Um, I see a lot of potential of virtual reality, and I don't know crap about it, really. I know the really bare minimums. I've done one VR experience. It's absolutely unreal. And I see a lot of potential for it, But and I want to do stuff with it, but now I have to... Um, go out and, and and learn and go to meetups and read and learn and read and learn but the thing is i have the some of you might know taking the drone test here shortly and it's trying to balance like i gotta take this drone test i want to pass with 150 dollars it's in like three with three weeks and i want to give a lot of focus even if i'm ridiculously like stupid amount over prepared for this test i'd rather do that than then be underprepared and fail and have to take it again. But in the meantime, I still have all these ideas coming in of stuff I want to do, stuff I want to learn, programs I want to learn, and I want to do it. And it, it literally, this is the internal battle. This is one of the reasons that I now continue to go to therapy. And I started going to, th to therapy for other reasons. And this is really the internal battle of a type A personality. Is I, I literally, I, I just mentally freak freak out i don't i really don't know how to put it into words i just like i want to do i want to learn this i want to learn this i want to learn this and the saying that the more you learn the more you learn you don't know or whatever that saying is totally totally true um and it's kind of spiraled into like i started that podcast as like talk about 3d printing but i'm not i'm not a 3d printing expert like I've done a couple things, and yeah, it's my grad thesis, but by no means do I know all the processes or am I an expert. And so, and then there's all these other technologies I want to get into civil engineering, and I want to bring in other people that are experts and learn. And it's like, well, where do I go with the podcast? Because originally it started out with like 3D printing specifically. Like that was the first 13 or so episodes, and then I did one interview uh, with someone in 3D printing and learned a lot on, it. <laughs> again, how to do an interview. Then I made an episode called excuse me from the heart i'm trying to get feedback on where people want me to go and then you know now it's i have some interviews recorded just haven't published them yet and so it's really learning that process and really learn how to balance things out and, and things of that nature and, and what to do with all this content like on one hand i'm this fitness guy and i know this video is all out of order but sometimes it's just me voicing out 
things and this is part of the journey of where things are going that's I'm, all i'm doing is documenting i'm not an expert i'm not a professional i'm in my bedroom at my parents house like this is the grassroots stuff that in 10 years when things become successful and it sucks ass to say 10 years because it's like oh, it's so far away like holy crap that's overwhelming um people won't I now will have videos of me literally documenting this moment of me trying to figure out what the hell to do 10 years ago in my parent in my bedroom at my parents house um and so I'm like well on this one hand I have the engineering stuff and all the the VR and the 3d printing and um, the drones and and all this great stuff but on the other hand I have this fitness brand and at the outset at the 10,000 foot view these are very externally competing brands you know most engineers don't care about lifting weights and most meatheads don't want to be behind a computer screen and, and nerd it up but I'm both and it's trying to figure out a way to mesh both those brands together into one around my name um, so I've been going back and forth for the past three or four almost probably a month now of really trying to figure out social media and investing to do it and really trying to get organized because um, my mind's a bajillion places like what do I you know what content do I create what don't I create and things of that nature and it's just um it's just a learning process and yeah, I've had stuff filmed for document the journey I just haven't published it but I think this is more more useful than like here's my day I did this this and this 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 and this and this is kind of like taking a step back being like look here's all the stuff that's going on I'm still trying to figure it out I'm not an expert but this video is a great piece of content because it shows the fact of just doing like I just had this idea 10 minutes ago when I left the gym and then I'm like I'm gonna come home I'm gonna flip on the camera I'm gonna film it Nothing prepped, still in my sweaty clothes and I want to shower, but it's just that do. That do, it has done a lot more good for me than bad, um, but now it's trying to get, kind of take a step back and reorganize things and kind of uh, lay things out in a more organized format versus scattering, scattering around because spraying bullets in a million directions isn't getting me anywhere. I'd rather just place one really well-placed shot than just spray bullets sporadically throughout the place since we're really trying to organize everything which I'm still trying to figure out and uh, balance but that's kind of the inside internal battles of, a, of an entrepreneur or type A personality so to speak um, it can be overwhelming at times it can be fun at times and it's just the roller coaster of emotions but we'll see where she leads right on the next episode of Document the Journey 56 cutting it short because I want to go shower